the Bible says, even the time that God was passing by night, killing all the firstborns, he instructed Moses to apply blood of a lamb over every door for, of Israelites. And the Bible says, Kila lango ilio kuwa na alama ya ndamu ya mwana kondo. Malaika awaku huwa firstborns. But in every family where there was no mark of the blood, people were killed. Firstborn died. Why? The angels, they were looking after the mark in the doors. Kile unaitaji. Wakati uu ambao tuko mtu wa mungu ni alama ya mungu katika maisha yako. Alama ya ndamu ya kristo yesu katika maisha yako. Na ni kuambie, wale ambao awata tetea alama ya mungu maisha ni mwao. Watakuwa wanaji expose to the wrath of God. Watakuwa wanaji expose to destruction. Praise the Lord. Na ndiyo sababu wakati huu ambao tunatengemea ibahada za mitandao, ibahada za Facebooks, YouTubes. Na home churches, home services. Na familia zingine tangu Yesu arudi azijawahi kuwa na ibahada nyumbani. Bwana asifiwe. Familia zingine tangu Yesu arudi azijawahi kuwa na ibahada ya nyumbani wewe unategemeanga ile ya kanisani wewe udanjibanga lazima ujipange sasa ni majira familia ipange program vile unaona kanisani tukipanga mnapanga programa ni nani mnapanga ni nani ambaye ni apostle leo bishop ni nani leo yule ata, yule ataleta yule ataleta injili Muna pangana ni nani asha? Iyo familia yako mzee ingawanye department zote za kanisani na wakutangaza matangazo. Na muombe na kuumbiriwe kabisa kama ni kana kwamba ni siku ya ibahada. Kwa sababu gani? Shetani ametegea watu wengi. Mimi kuna kitu Bwana amekuwa akinifundisha na akinihimiza ya kwamba tusiposaidia washirika na wapendwa kuna watu watakuwa masiwalala kabisa kuna watu watakuwa baridi kabisa kwa sababu wakati ambao watu wameambiwa wame wakae manyumbani badala ya watu wasome neno la Mungu wengine watatekwa nyara na maroho wawe hawana nafasi ya kusoma biblia wawe hawana nafasi ya kuomba na hapo ndipo shetani atachukua nafasi ya kuchukua utawala wa familia wa kumiliki hiyo jamii wa kuotesha watu mandoto mambaya jina la Bwana libarikiwe kwa sababu gani nyumba zote familia zetu zote sina prevail na ku succeed from the source which is the house of god wanandamu wote wanaomwamini Mungu huwa wanapokea nguvu na neema kutoka kwa madhabao ya kanisani kutoka katika nyumba ya Mungu na sasa tumeambiwa tuwe nyumbani njia ya kujiko, njia ya kuweza kuwa na uweza ukiwa nyumbani na madhabao yako nyumbani iwe na nguvu ni huwe connected na madhabao yako ya kanisani jina la Bwana libarikiwe Unajiconnect na madhabao yako ya kanisani na mna gani kufanya kile huwa kinafanywa kanisani na kuzingatia ibada zote ambazo huwa siko kanisani mwenu ile service mnakuanga nayo ya kawaida make sure that moment that time in your house unakuwa na the same service mimi as a man of god as a pastor for the sake of my followers for the sake of my members for the sake of my ministry i will be in the altar muumbiri pastor wesu kamtoa kwa madhabahu bwana yesu apo sifa 
Huu ni wakati na zizi wachungaji, Levites, priests, tukwamie ekaluni. Tukwamie kwa madhabau. Hili madhabau iproduce fire. Madhabau iproduce moto kwa madhabau zote za kijamii. And that's my commitment. Na wewe mahali popote ulipo, don't be dormant in your house. Praise the name of the living God. I advise all our church members to stay tuned to our pages in YouTube, in Facebook, in groups of the, the, the WhatsApps. And to make sure they come together as a family and have a fellowship. All the fellowships, all the services that we normally have in the weekdays. You make sure that una, umekua katika hiyo, una, umefanya hiyo ibada katika nyumba yako. Na hiyo itakushikanisha na madhabau ya kanisani. Mahali popote ulipo, guvu za mungu. Sitakuzanguza maisha yako. Na buwana ata urumia na kurehemu maisha yako. Na halama ya mungu haita ondoshwa katika jamii yako na katika maisha yako. Shetani ni mujanja na huwa hanatumia mbinu. Wakati huu, andui ya naweza jaribu vyo vyote. Saa sile sa ibada. Dio, sile vipindi sa radio. Zile vipindi sa, sa ma television. Dio sinakuja. Unajipata uko very busy sa sa ibada hapo ndiyo wakati unaangalia vipindi sa runinga kama huwa unaacha hizo vipindi unakuwa kanisani saa hiyo sima tv yako ita familia yako pamoja anzeni kulitia jina la bwana na hivyo ndivyo watu uwekwa alama na mungu jina la bwana libarikiwe nataka nikupatie mambo matatu maine ambao utokelezea katika maisha ya watu wagekosa alama ya Mungu jina la Bwana lipewe utukufu alama ya Mungu ikiondoka katika maisha ya mwanadamu kitu ya kwanza shetani ushambulia maisha yako na woga unakuwa moyo wako umenjaa woga umenjaa woga kabisa ndani yako Auna ngufu, auna imani. Unasikia hata kidogo ukichamua kidogo tu hivi ama ukikooa, unasema mimi niko na corona jamani nitakufa. Unaanza kugawanya mashamba na zimu. Naanza kupiga zimu ukigawanya mashamba na, ku, na, ku, na, ku, na kupeana pini zote za account. Maana umechimua na umekooa. Unaona ni kama unaweza kufa any time. Kwa sababu gani? Mtu wa Mungu angekosa alama ya Mungu huwa anashambuliwa na maro. mapepo yanapata mlango inaweka woga ndani yake namba 2 alama ya Mungu isipokuwa ndani yako imani yako huwa ina, inachambuliwa imani inadhoofishwa unakuwa hauna imani unakuwa hauna matumaini unakuwa kabisa kitu kidogo ikitokelezea unashikwa na high blood pressure because hauna tumaini hauna imani Unaona sasa kwisha sisi tumekufa. Sisi tumekufa. Praise the name of the living God. Jambo la tatu ambao ushika mwanadamu akikoza alama ya Mungu na muhuri wa Mungu. Alama ya Mungu ikiondoka, mangonjwa upata milango. Mangonjwa upata nafasi. Mangonjwa upata nafasi katika maisha ya mtu. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Unapata ya kwamba mangonjwa yanapitana kupitana kwa familia yako. Ikitoa kwa mtoto inaingia kwa mama. Ikitoa kwa mama inaingia kwa mzee. Ikitoa kwa mzee inaingia kwa maid. Mangonjwa yanasunguka ni kama iko na meringo round kwa nyumba yako. Kwa sababu gani? Hakuna kitu inaongopa. Hakuna alama. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Kwa hivyo ni vyema kabisa kusingatia alama ya Mungu katika maisha yako. Kitu ya ine ambayo huingia ndani ya familia ama jamii ama maisha ya mtu binafsi. Alama ya Mungu ikiondoshwa ni kifo. Mungu alimwambia Musa, mtu yeyote ambaye hata ambaye hakutakuwa na alama ya mwana kondoo 
kwa lango lake mwana wa kwanza the first born atakufa na Mungu akasema atakuwa responsible for that death praise the lord ukosefu wa alama ulikuwa unaleta maafa katika familia jamii zile ambazo sikuwa na alama kwa hivyo huu ni wakati kila mtu kibinafsi ajishikanishe na Mungu aombe Bwana aweke familia yake alama ili handui asiwezi kupata nafasi Paulo akasema mtu yeyote asinisumbue mimi ninabeba alama za Kristo kwa sababu gani Ara, alama ya Kristo ndani ya mtu ina ina command respect praise the lord mapepo na mashetani na mangonjwa na maradhi na nguvu zangiza sikiona hiyo alama ya Kristo ya damu ya mwana kondoo juu yako mapepo yote ina salute inasema huyu ni wa Kristo huyu ni wa mwenyewe huyu atupasi kumguza katika maisha yako ninatangaza alama ya Mungu i declare the mark of the lord upon your family i declare the mark of god upon your children i declare and decree in the mighty name of jesus christ that every child of god will be marked for safety for long life for great destiny for good life in jesus mighty name i declare that all our family members will be safe and secure in jesus mighty name ile kinaweza tutunza ukamilifu ni ndamu ya mwana kondoo na ninakuuliza kama ndamu ya mwana kondoo ilipowekwa kwa milango kama Mungu alihurumia wana wa Israeli nje sisi tuko na ndamu ya mwana kondoo Yesu Kristo wakati huo ilikuwa ni ngombe ni, ni ndamu ya kondoo sisi ndamu ile ambao tunawekwa alama nayo ni ndamu ya Yesu Kristo ambaye Biblia inasema ndamu yake unena mema na kuliko ndamu ya Abeli So we are on the safe side. Tuko salama. Stay connected with the house of God. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Ushauri wangu kwa kila muteule, kwa kila kanisa. Don't disconnect from your altar. Praise the name of the Lord. The greatest trial and temptation that many people will suffer this time is disconnect from their houses bwana yesu apo sifa kenya iko na makanisa mingi dunia iko na makanisa mengi praise the name of jesus na kila kanisa inawashirika na ni wakati wa washirika wajue mahali pao pakula wa stay connected na madhabahu yao jina la bwana libarikiwe amen i'm not saying that you should not watch or attend services of other preachers but be sensitive make sure that you stay connected with your altar with your church with your pastor keep in touch with your pastor give your offerings your tithes in your house through sile faith bills kila kanisa imepewa na kanisa na, 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 na uongozi wao jina la bwana libarikiwe na saidi ya mambo yote fuata mi, mitalatara ambayo uwa mko nayo kanisani kwenu kama monday mnakuanga na prayers have prayers in your house bwana awabariki na awatende mema shalom